Let's begin with a greater Accra Regional Hospital that has conducted a groundbreaking surgery which enables the senses of patients to stay awake and functioning while the process is ongoing. The process called brain mapping surgery will also ensure the surgeons find the exact places where the tumors are found, remove them without affecting any other tissue, and also ensure any senses which is affected during the surgery are corrected before it's over. Hano Dami was at the facility when the first of its kind of surgery was conducted and has filed this report. It was in late October 2021. 60 years old Mr. Yabwa had a terrible splitting headache. After some days of enduring the pain, which painkillers could not heal, he began to have difficulty walking. Even when he started, I, 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 I used to go to work. But coming back home or going, that's where the, 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 the leg problem comes. If I walk from here to this, I have to find some place to sit. How to last more before I get up again and then continue with the, this. Initial scans did not indicate any life threatening issues, but the pain lingered on. It was at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital that doctors detected that Mr. Yebwa had a tumor in his brain. To be able to remove it and cause less damage. Uh, to vital structures, we needed to do what we call brain mapping and stimulation throughout the surgery. And this is something we usually uh, don't do here in Ghana, I stand in other places. And we thought that if we collaborate, we should be able to get this kind of surgeries done. And we did that for the first time in our country. The intraoperative brain mapping. This surgical method will enable the surgical team to find clear borders to the tumors and also remove them. Without the intraoperative brain mapping, the condition will be declared inoperable because the tumor is too close to areas of the brain that control the vision, language and body movements. Every surgery is different. This particular one is even special requiring new technology and special dexterity for the lead surgeon and the rest of the team. The next phase of this is how to use the navigation, the neural navigation, to really locate the tumor and use that to do targeted uh, surgery. Okay, so now we have the patient completely, his images and every point that we touch and this will also help us during the surgery itself so we can easily uh, target it, I mean, exactly know where the tumor is to get it removed. Their confidence is boosted with the presence of a team from the foundation of orthopedics and complex spine focus hospital. The hospital enhances access to optimal surgery and non-surgical care for patients with disabling musculoskeletal disorders, including complex spine deformities and pediatric orthopedic problems. They have also conducted awake surgeries on the spine of many patients. But of course, the first for brain tumor in this instance. So the goal of this um, deep brain testing is just for the, the doctor to be able to separate uh, the tumor, which is the diseased part of the brain mass, from the um, healthy part. So that he doesn't take out the, the diseased tumor together with some healthy... Um, yeah, so as much, he's, at some point, he's likely to take out some uh, brain tissue. Science and religion is often in conflict. But here in the theater, doctors, nurses, and the rest of the team say a prayer before the first cut. After almost four hours of preparing Mr. Yebwa for this process. Lord, it is your hand that is going to do the surgery and not ours. So everything is secure. We pray against any complication in the post-operative period. Now we'll expose the brain 
and we're going to stimulate the brain to see the different areas. We can already identify the tumor. You can see here, it's tumor. Here is tumor. This is normal, so you can see the difference. Okay, I've changed position. Right, let me see. Get me a small needle in. After over 12 hours, the tumors, which gave Mr. Yeboah the headaches and also made him almost completely paralyzed, is over. For Mr. Yeboah, get him to work again, hear properly, and not experience headaches is a miracle he will never forget. That's why I first recommended the, the, the doctors, the nurses, and the listening that I'm, I'm still, they have done a good job on me. Dr. Kaba says the miracle that Mr. Yeboah is enjoying now can also happen in the lives of many others like him. Realistically, uh, Ghanaian medical personnel, they are highly qualified with the same abilities as to any other medical personnel in the world. The only restriction that they encounter, or sometimes we, so I don't exempt myself, encounter is to have this kind of equipment to be able to get things done.